Bunch look left too wide as Sims opens up. And they're going to keep it with Sims running to the right, breaking free. 15, 20, Sims back to the 44. 10 to 15 times for Georgia Tech in this game. Jamar, uh, Jameer Gibbs in the backfield. Here's a quick throw by Sims, and it's intercepted. They pick it off, and it's Cam Bright, the linebacker, that grabs the deflection for Pittsburgh. Kyle Kennard over there trying to hold the point. Here's a Banacanda again trying to follow his blocks inside the five and into the end zone for the Panther touchdown. Third rushing score of the year for a Banacanda. And going to the left side of that offensive line, we've heard so much about the big Abanacanda powers the ball into the end zone for the first score of the game. And is not afraid to go. Yep. Second down and nine, a one yard game for Gibbs. Here's Dennett, or Sims wanting to throw in the air and intercepted. Picked off John Patrician. Near side, touchdown for Pittsburgh. The seventh year player, Patrician, the pick six. Look there in the slot, you get Nate McCollum again. He's going to have a deep over route against the safety, Eric Hallett. You've got that throw. All he's got to do is lay it out, but the pressure gets there. Haba Baldonado hits his arm. John Patrician's got a stroll into the end zone. Georgia Tech had exactly what it wanted, but Haba Baldonado's ability to defeat the block, get in the backfield, creates the turnover, which creates the touchdown. Jeff Sims, a couple of unfortunate turnovers so far in this one. Play fake to Smith. Sims going to lob from McCollum. Can he catch it? Yes! Touchdown! He gets a clean pocket to be able to deliver this football. It's down the field, and then it's an excellent catch. It's tough, over the shoulder, being able to complete the catch through contact to the ground, Georgia Tech gets on the board to cut the deficit to seven. It's what you do. You got Lucas Kroll to the top and that inset inline tight end. Jordan Addison slots to the bottom. Pick it on a straight drop. Jack is trying to get there. Pick it with time. Addison a catch at the 43. First down ahead of Wanye Thomas. But the thing that they really like about this 3-3-5 is it allows the defensive line to play fast. Vincent Davis back in the game. Pick it under duress, and they're going to get him on the ground. And that was Swilling. Pittsburgh from its 42. Pickett wants to throw. Looking deep. Jordan Addison caught it at the 15 and holds all the way through on the completion. A banana can to the running back. Jackets show pressure. Pickett back foot throw. Touchdown, Addison. Pleads that one. And here again, a little, little slide to his left. This Pitt defense uh, took it on the chin against Western Michigan. The Pitt offense has been fantastic all year. Here's Sims in trouble and will not get away from the pressure. Baldonado first through. Servassier Dennis gets the sack. Sets up a third and short. Georgia Tech going with tempo. Yep. And the jacket's going to hand to Jameer Gibbs. And he got spun around. First guy to hit him was Davis. Pistol set here. Vincent Davis in the barrel with Pickett. Pickett wants to throw it again. This time, Taysir Mack, the caught, and he will score. Over the top of Carpenter. Taysir Mack's wide open, but, you know, sometimes these layup throws are the hardest to get. Taysir Mack in the end zone. Pitt goes up by three touchdowns. Here's Sims, called run to the far side. Trying to find an alley and does before, boy, Campbell took him on a ride and then Devonshire, the Kentucky transfer, was also involved in it. Sims will take the snap off the clap. Here's Dante Smith, touchdown. As we go under nine minutes, that's Addison in motion. Here's Pickett. Cuts it loose, looking for Addison. What a oh catch! At the 43 on his Pickett's wallet. 25 yard throw. Here's fourth down out of the timeout now. Addison in the slot to the top, just motioned out of the backfield. 
Here's Pickett looking left for Mack. Come back, caught it. First down at the 17. Right in front of Trey Swilling goes Taysir Mack. You've got to dictate if you're the if you're the defense, whether you're gonna double Addison or go one on one to the backside. A bad of Candace score standing. And Pittsburgh has 34 points with six minutes to go. On the shoulder pad of Charlie Thomas, I think it's a good no call personally on the hold. And then Israel Banacanda, like, has to be better in that situation, in my opinion. Vincent Davis is the back, as a running back. Here's Pickett now, eluding some pressure again. Kenny can run with it if he wants now. Hesitates, throws, and crawl. Wide open for Pittsburgh to the 15. Pitt's got a shot to break this thing wide open in the first half. Boy, they sure do. Off the 16, Pickett backing up, steps up, bullet to the end zone, crawl the touchdown. It to a two score game at least. Yep. Here is Sims backing up, loops it for Gibbs. A lot of room on the left, got by Patricia. Great screen, Jameer Gibbs at the 40, 30. The cut back here to the near side. Gibbs at the 10, the 5, and tackled at the 3. And now looking to throw on first down. Oh, he's got him. Wide open in the middle. He had Jordan Addison. He'll throw it up the sideline, and it's caught. Shockey Jock Louis shoved out of bounds at the 45. So they're over to 10 to Carter at the Georgia Tech bench, and here's Sims. First and 10 at the pit, 32. Throwing again. Rutherford, a diving catch. Held on through inside the 10. First and goal at the 8. Samaglia from right at 40 yards. Kick is no good. Got blocked, Wes. Yep, sure did. Crawl and Shockey Jock Louis. Pick it on second and 10. In trouble. Now eluding the pressure. He'll run again. Here he comes near side and will step out of bounds with a first down again. So here is third and goal for Pickett and the Panthers. Pickett will drop it off in the flat, and Daniel Carter comes off the bench and catches a touchdown pass. The touchdown pass, his fourth of the day. Here's Smith with Sims back into the packet. Sims wants to keep it going to the perimeter, throws back for the touchdown. Adonica Sanders the catch. Watch the pressure that's going to come from the right side. That's Deslin Alexander right in the face of Jeff Sims as he rolls out. Slings it back to Adonica Sanders. That's the talent. And uh, I'm not sure I'd be gritty enough down 28 points. Down. But he talked about the maturity it took to move on from that. Sims will be sacked. Did the ball come out? No. He goes down back at the 20 because John Morgan got to him. Big number six. We got Eris and Yabi involved in this production today. One of the best defensive linemen to ever do it. That's it. Here's Kenny Pickett. Taysir Mack on a crossing route. Flag thrown down as Mack clears the 40 to the 45. Young kicker. Gives it a whirl. And it is good. 46-yard try from Sam Scart. I mean, this pit defense... It's gotten after Georgia Tech on offense, but it's about the pit offense and Kenny Pickett. Here is uh, Sims, already a career day, and Adonica Sanders breaking free. Sanders down the far sideline. Hallett bangs him out of bounds around the Pittsburgh 30-yard line. Three. Ooh, in case you were wondering. Abana Candace check back in after Hammond was shaken up, and Izzy cuts around the edge here on the left and sets sail, stepped out of bounds. 41-yard line of Georgia Tech and up for the first down with five and a half to play. 16-yard run. Now, he ends up having a really good day statistically, but most of that's when the game was well out of reach. Here is Hammond inside the 10, keeps his feet, and Rodney Hammond will be tackled at the 1 with 20 seconds left. In there. the league, certainly sets them up uh, as, as well as you can. And like I said, they're the favorite to me in the Coastal Division. There you go. Pat Narduzzi, Jeff Collins, a handshake, and that'll do it.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.